Hi everyone. In this example, I will go through uh, one of the questions that we had in our quiz. So for a closed loop system that you can see here, we want to calculate the steady state errors while we have GP as given here, the process, and GC, the controller provided as the given transfer function. Assuming that D and N are equal to zero, so for the first part, these two will be equal to zero and we will have only R or reference. We want to find out the value of the steady state error for different kind of inputs. So for the step, for the ramp and for parabola inputs, we want to calculate the steady state value of the error. Uh, so I can start by writing what we have for E of S. If you remember, it's the sensitivity function times R of S, where S of S is equal to one over one plus L of S. And L of S here, the loop transfer function is GP times GC, which is given as four times S plus two in the numerator, over s times s plus 3 times s plus 1 at the denominator. Provided that we have these, we can uh, go forward and find out the steady state value of the error, which is limit of t of t as t goes towards infinity, or limit of s times e of s as s goes towards zero. And instead of s, we have uh, this relation from, from here. So we can write down steady state error is equal to limit of s times one over one plus e of s times r of s as s goes towards zero. Now we have three different cases. While r is given as one, or step of t, r is given as t or ramp, and r is given as t squared over two or parabola. Let's go through each, each one of them one by one. So for the first case, I assume that rt is equal to one, for t bigger than or equal to zero, as a result, R of S is equal to 1 over S. Therefore, the steady state error will be limit of S going to 0, S over 1 plus L of S times 1 over S. These S's at the numerator and denominator will be cancelled with each other, and we will end up with this limit, limit of 1 over 1 plus L of S as s goes towards zero. This would be our steady state error for this kind of input. And we from here, we have the L of s. We can say that limit of L of s as s goes towards zero is equal to four times two over zero times three times one, which will give us infinity. As a result, here we will have the steady state error equal to one over infinity, or we can say that the steady state error is equal to zero. So for, for this case, steady state error is zero. We can continue to the next case in which RT, so in the next case, R of t is equal to t for t bigger than or equal to zero, or we can say that R of s is equal to one over s squared. Therefore, our steady state error will be given as limit of s over one plus L of s as s goes towards zero. 
s goes towards zero times one over s squared. Uh, and this is yeah, this is s to the power of two not three. So the s at the numerator will be cancelled with one of the s's at the new denominator, and as a result, steady state or in this case could be calculated as limit of one over s plus s times l of s as s goes towards z. So we need to determine the limit of s times l of s. Here we have l of s and s times l of s will be equal to 4s times s plus 2 over s times s plus 3 times s plus 1. The s is at the numerator and denominator will be cancelled with each other and as a result the limit of s going towards 0s times l of s can be calculated as 4 times 2 over 3 times 1 which is equal to 8 over 3. And we can use that result here. Instead of s times l of s as s goes towards 0, we will have 8 over 3. As a result here, the steady state error will be equal to 1 over 0 plus 8 over 3. Or in other words, steady state error will be equal to 3 over 8. So this is what we have for this case, 3 over 8. Now we can take the last case into account. For the third case, r of t is given as t squared over 2, or t bigger than or equal to 0, which means that r of s is equal to 1 over s to the power of 3. We can continue and find out the, the limit for calculating our steady state error as s goes towards zero. We will have limit of s over one plus l of s times one over s to the power of three. S here will be cancelled with one of the s's at the denominator and we will end up with this limit, limit of s going towards zero. 1 over s squared plus s squared times l of s. So the limit of s squared times l of s would be this limit, limit of 4s squared s plus 2 over s times s plus 3 times s plus 1 as s goes towards 0 and from here we can see that this limit is, is, is equal to 0. We have two terms at the denominator, both of them go towards 0 as a result this steady state error will be equal to infinity. So this steady state error is equal to infinity. Now we need to take another case into account. We have r and n equal to zero, and we want to, r and n are equal to zero. We want to uh, check out the effect, the effect of the disturbance. Assuming that the disturbance is a step of t, we want to find out the steady state value for the error. So while r and n are equal to, to zero, we have only d of t which is equal to 1 for t bigger than or equal to 0. In this case, the steady state value of the error or the error itself in the Laplace domain is given as minus s of s times d of s. Then we can uh, write down the steady state value of the error, which is the limit of d of t again t going towards infinity, or the limit of s times e of s as s goes towards zero. So from here we know that d of s is 1 over s, and s of s 
as before is equal to 1 over 1 plus L of C. As a result, we can conclude that with be this limit, limit of S going towards 0, S over 1 plus L of S times D of S, which is 1 over S, and then these S's will be cancelled with each other, and we will end up with this limit, S going to 0, 1 over 1 plus L of S. We already know the limit of L of S as S goes towards 0, and it is here, infinity. So as a result, we will have this steady state error equal to 0. So the steady state error is obtained as 0 again. For the last part of the question, we need to determine the type of the system. So looking at the L of S, we can rewrite it here again. L of S is equal to 4 times S plus 2, 4 times S plus 2, over S times S plus 3 times S plus 1, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. And from here, we can say that the type of system is 1. So system is of type 1. For this kind of system, we can determine the value for KV, which is equal to limit of S times L of S as S goes towards 0. And we already have calculated it. Uh, I believe it's here, yeah, this limit. So 8 over 3 is the limit of S times L of S as S goes to 0. So it's 8 over 3. This is equal to 8 over 3. So we know that KB is equal to 8 over 3. Now by referring to the type of the system and the kind of the input, we can uh, verify the previous results. Yeah? We know that for type, for type 1 system, the steady state error for the, this kind of inputs, for the step, ramp, or parabola, is provided as 0, 1 over kV, and infinity. The 1 over kV will be equal to 3 over 8, and here we have 0 and infinity. This is the case in which we have n and e equal to 0 and input is R of. If the input is, let me maybe redraw it, if the input is D for type 1 system, the steady state error for the step ramp and parabola Uh, will be the same thing with the negative sign. So we will have 0 minus 3 over 8 minus infinity. So I have forgotten to, yeah, to take into account this minus sign here. As a result, this will be, uh, no, not here, but it will appear here. So this here, we, at the end, we will have 0, but it's it's the same, but we, we, we need to take the minus sign in any case. So for the step kind of input, we have the zero steady state error, both for the case in which we have the reference as, as the input or the disturbance as the input. And remember that in this case, R and N are equal to zero. So this, this uh, table, these two tables verify what we have already obtained here. Yeah, we had zero here. 0, 3 over 8, and infinity.
okay so that's all for this video i hope uh, you have enjoyed it and uh, using this video you have understand the concept of or the way of calculating the steady state errors in a better way thank you for watching and see you next time